the left are building more pressure on the government to saying that the government needs to be more serious about Anna Hazare and the demands that he has been making. The kind of strategy which this government is using and now the opposition uh, trying to create an uproar in the parliament, do you feel that this is really going to make any difference? Well, the government's strategy is clearly to divert attention from its own utter failure in dealing with the issue of corruption and in diverting attention from its very weak and inadequate and ineffective bill. The focus has to be on the inadequacy of the government bill, instead of which what the government strategy is to utilize the differences on the Jan Lokpal bill within civil society and to privilege one opinion of those who belong in the NAC. I mean, they're all my friends. I have the greatest respect for them. But you cannot have double standards. You cannot privilege one section of uh, civil society because they are members of the NAC headed by Sonia Gandhi and have utter contempt for those who are not members of that NAC. You can have pre-legislative discussions ad infinitum with a certain section of civil society who you have brought into the NAC, but others are left out. We can as well ask, what about all the left-wing activists, all the hundreds of trade unionists, the peasant workers who know much more about land acquisition or about food security, why aren't you including them in your pre-legislative discussions? So don't privilege one section. This is double standards which cannot be accepted. Secondly, the government strategy at this time seems to be using the differing opinions. There are differing opinions. For example, we do not accept many of the issues which the Jan Lokpal bill has. But the government wants to use this to deflect attention from its own highly inadequate, ineffective Lokpal bill. The crucial issue here is, is the government prepared to accept its bill is fatally flawed? If the government says this is a flawed bill, we are prepared to bring additions, etc., as suggested by many of us, there can be a solution. Ma'am, but what Congress is saying right now is that they are open for discussions and they are open for new add-ons. Veera Pamoili has just said that a couple of minutes ago. No, they are open to whom? They have already set the framework. They have the most absurd framework saying it can only be discussed at the time of the Standing Committee discussions. Whereas there have been so many occasions when the government has been through the Standing Committee, the entire process and then just scrapped the bill. So the government cannot select the process it wants to adopt. So what we are saying is there is an agitation going on. There, is, there are several drafts of several Lokpal bills. There are certain issues on which the government must come out with its own position, which it's not prepared to do. Remember, at the end of the day, the common people who have rather come out in large numbers for Anna Hazare, do you feel they are really going to get anything out of it, whatever is happening? The government, the opposition, whatever is happening? Well, for 40 years and after eight drafts, there has been a deafening silence on behalf of successive governments. It's only been the left which has been consistently taking up this issue against corruption. So today, the very fact that lakhs of people have come out on the streets has forced the government to address in some way that there is an issue of corruption which has to be addressed through a legal mechanism. Therefore, I feel that the people, there's no reason for the people to be demoralized or upset because they have brought the issue right back on the agenda, which is absolutely fine. Thank you, Mr. Ophim.